lovely house. Very Thank nice. You. Yes. You have a lot of space here to dance, no? Huh? Yes. yes. <laughs> Good. Did you dance already today? Yes. yes. What did you dance? Raise a bit to men Uh-huh. Nice. Afro? Yes. Guys, hello and welcome to another episode of Behind the Talent with these amazing kids in Uganda. So I had the chance to see uh, two more groups. One of them is called Wakiso Dance Kids and Wakiso is actually a place in Kampala, so the capital city of Uganda. It's uh, north west of the city. So this time I didn't take a motorbike because it's quite dangerous to go for an hour on the motorbike Buddha. So I took a taxi and Uber <laughs> all the way to Wakiso and then David, the manager of the group, he met me at the beautiful house. It's like the, um, like a countryside type of um, surrounding, which was really nice, so very spacious. And yeah, I got to meet the kids and got to do my thing with the hello dance and got to know everyone. <laughs> good, good try, 50-50. <laughs> so Morocco is the northwest uh, of Africa and it has Algeria next to it and the ocean on the other side. Hi. Hello, what's your name? Sorry? Junia. Junia, that's a nice name. Hello. 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 What's your name? Good. Good. How are you? What's your name? Nixon. Nixon. Very nice. Like the president. Nixon. Mm. <laughs> US president? Nixon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was saying to the rest of the guys, I'm from Morocco and my name is Amal. <laughs> And I'm so glad I met him. <laughs> so let us know what, what's Wakiso. How did you find the, the kids? How you know? How are you supporting them? In Wakiso Dance Kids Foundation, we do support them with education, food, accommodation, etc. Since these kids are orphans, so we give them home. We give them hope. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So guys, please subscribe to their YouTube. Support them any way you can, and they have a GoFundMe as well. So I'm gonna link that so you guys can help if you like our videos and everything. Share and all that. 
That would be amazing. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, and I hope please. to see you soon. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Uh, you got that. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> see ya. Love you. We love you. I love you too. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Some of us left to school, not that we didn't want to study, but tuition by our parents wasn't there. So we gathered up and we came up with an idea of dance, of which we thought that one day it may change our lives. So help us go. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, I love dancing since I'm a child as well. And I'm here to help you achieve your dream of dancing, sure, help you sure. go to big places. Hopefully one day you'll, you know, shine like stars. You already are stars. Never stop dreaming. Keep dreaming and don't stop. Uh, keep hoping and also keep going to school. That's very important as well. Yes. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, meet you too. too. got this incredible opportunity again to meet these talented children called Fire Cave Stars. Their manager is called Kavuma Prince, so I've met him as well and he decided to let me do a few training uh, sessions with the kids and see how they dance and then he also agreed to tell me about, a bit more about his background and his story, which was amazing. So this was a very different day, it was very muddy but the passion that these children have was just incredible and that's what stood out for me and yeah I just connected with, with them so well because of their warmth they just gave out so much warmth and their smiles and their energy was just very addictive and I was so happy to do this and I had a kind friend come with me this day called Chamuka he also helps uh, local groups in Uganda dance he's an incredible dancer so um, I was very pleased with this day because it was really a good example of teamwork and, and happiness and joy and just no barriers whatsoever. So enjoy! So then it was my time to show them a bit of dancing and after seeing them at such a huge group with so much energy I thought this is going to be a bit tough because I've never choreographed such a huge group but they were so flexible and adaptive and the song I chose for them has got an, an African sort of tribal feel to it. Wanna be starting something by MJ has actually sampled sounds from uh, Congolese African music and I just thought it fit them so well with their energy, with their passion and warmth to uh, choreograph a little something with them. So because there were so many I had to like, put them in different groups. Obviously don't speak the same language, their English was limited but we spoke the language of dance together. So 
I'm here with Kavu, my prince, wow, who's yes. had the uh, very uh, kindness to meet me today and invite me to see Fire K Stars. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy yourself today. What was your favorite song we did together? Rihanna! <laughs> that was very good. Girl power. Yes. Cool. So, um, how did you find this lovely group? And um, yeah, what's the story? Um, first of all, nice meeting you, sister, and we are very humbled having you here at home. Fire Stars Dancers Africa from Uganda, East Africa, as the saying is. Uh, first of all, I'm um, one of the leaders, Fire Stars Dancers Africa, plus my brother, Kamoga Tony, the taller one there. Uh -huh. So we came up with this idea according to the story we have, we personally, we people. Like, um, some of us are orphans, some of us left to school, not that we didn't want to study, but tuition by the parents who wasn't there. So we gathered up and came up with an idea of dance of which we call that one day it may change our lives when we sat there we were like you know uh, let's start a dancing team because we had it within our hearts mm -hmm. we used to dance even before even uh, this young generation being into place because the first dancing team was these teens mm -hmm. teens so they grew up and of course as you know that you have to look for something to eat so they also joined me into that hustling way as well as we um we came up with this young generation so that uh we can keep our career going mm -hmm. into that kind of a way uh, we thank god within it that um at least we've met you we've reached if like for example like we've won some awards there is one from usa called african entertainment awards oh wow congrats we, yeah we won 2020 as the Very best well. dance group africa wide because they are wow. including some even uh, States dancing team. We won Nigeria Chivas Award from Nigeria. We wow. won another award called MTM Master Magazine from England. Wow, um, and as well, more others. But being that we've won those ones it doesn't mean that the life yeah. has changed great. Yeah. Not yet, of course. Of course, you see the home where we are living. Yeah. Our biggest dream right now is to have a home where we can even get more kids than these ones through their dance career so they can even um, more get into school because some study, some doesn't. Reason being that the tuition is not uh, enough. Mm. Now, uh, whatever we get through our dance career is what we share with them to that kind of a way. So we thank wow. God for having met you as well, and of course, knowing of course. our story, never that there is someone whom we could share with and as well stand with us into that kind of a way. Of course. Yeah. Very humbled to meet uh, the children and hear about these stories because we need more people like you actually to change their lives through something they're so passionate about and so good at yeah, you, you, you don't realize what you're doing for their future oh. uh, that's incredible so they have so you don't have a house for them yet so where do they live they have their families um, and the orphans are they in an orphanage or it is actually like we take this as a place of like you know we gather up but ah. uh, we don't totally own it because um, our relatives the one owning this place and of course some <coughs> this is the truth some stay here some uh, live by their parents mm -hmm. But when they are also vulnerable, according as you know, because mm. we use this kind of dance, you know, career to change or to lift up the, uh, the fragile to have a better life into that kind of a way. So some uh, sleep here, some uh, live uh, at their home places into that kind of a way. But the biggest challenge is that because we'd like to be a family, one family living together, you know, as we take time uh, being into this dance thing, you know, it's better to also. Uh, associate together you know in other more things like you know eating and all that kind of stuff but at, 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 at we share those it's when we get because we are we, we are family like we eat together we share together some just get back for us sleep but mm -hmm. for these kind of uh dusky needs yeah. we share the, the little we get is what we share into wow, that kind of beautiful. Yeah, yeah but the biggest dream yeah. is to have a yeah. home whereby yeah. like okay. we can be do you have family. a GoFundMe? Uh, do you have um, any links? Or oh, you're just uh, using the funds from YouTube? Or do you have any sort of donation pops? Uh. We don't have a, a GoFundMe, and of course we shall be so much humbled if we get an opportunity. Why not? Yeah, I mean, I've been them. linking all the GoFundMe of these kind of groups that I've been meeting. Oh. So yes, hopefully we can we can together and please more people come come to Africa oh. and to Uganda. It is amazing. The people are so warm, and you get to be entertained and and make a difference in in their lives and. They are so welcoming, and I think just just showing up is a big thing. So, wow. uh, so we need more people. I I'm doing this alone. I need a team. Like, oh, yeah, man. I need people to come with me you and support you hands. because it's such a marvelous thing you're doing here. Have it's amazing. Yeah, of course. Most yeah. of the times it's hurting to see someone having no parents, you know. Yeah. Not that everyone doesn't have, but some of them, as you said, that some are often some, they know they have to swim to that kind of a way. So yeah. it feels bad being that there is a life you're going through 
and of course uh, you see someone who is more into need than you into that yes. kind of a way so sometimes you're like oh i'm not well but at least let me use the lead i have to lift up someone maybe the lord can yeah. help or the lord can lift up you know me Absolutely. as well into yeah. that kind of a way. yeah well i really feel like we've built a good relationship now um, we're like family so it, this is not going to be the last time i'm wow. sure yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean the power is of dancing as well um, Yay! Thank you so much for well. giving me this time. Yeah, thank you as well. <laughs>